Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today is the day of our very last farmer's market of the season. So just because the season is ending for markets, I wanted to do a couple videos for you today. This is the first one I'm gonna be filming and you'll see the next one that I will do on, post on another day. Um, but I wanted to just show you how I put together my mini bouquets because these have been really, really good sellers at the market this year and last year. And it's an easy way to use shorter stems that maybe you could not use in one of your full market bouquets. So I make these mini bouquets, they are $5, and basically they have small little um, five to six stems in them. So, you know, technically I'm selling them for a dollar a piece, Yes, that is kind of wholesale prices, but these are ones that I could not sell to Flora. So for example, um, these little short queen lime zinnias that are coming back, these are not tall enough to put in market bouquets, but these are perfect for my mini bouquets, so I can still utilize these blooms. So the things that I tend to use in these are um, pieces of status, zinnias, I have some miniature sunflowers that I planted super close together. These are perfect. These um, should open a little more today, but then when the customer gets them home, they will open really cute as well. Um, I have some smaller celosia that is going to be perfect for these. I had some ageratum come up in my garden. I did not even plant ageratum this year. So this somehow seeded from last year now, obviously these are also short stems, but the perfect length for these bouquets. So right here, I have three stems for one of my mini bouquets, and that'll add a really pretty pop of color. Um, I also have, well, I have one random Snapdragon, uh, one random piece of yarrow. I have a dahlia that I broke, and so I will use this shorter stem in one of my mini bouquets. And then the filler that I'm gonna to use today are some of these stems of Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus. Now this one is borderline, I could probably use this in a bouquet, um, but these are some of the smaller side shoots that have come up from the bottom. This is the perfect length, and look at how beautiful that foliage is for fall. Now my large bouquets that I'm gonna be selling at the market today are going to be a combination of the tall Mahogany, Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus. I have yet to cut that. Um, I have not had a problem with this wilting because by now in the season, the stems are woody, so they have not wilted for me. Uh, so it will be mahogany, slender hibiscus, sunflowers, and then my garden is full of dahlias. That'll probably be the next video you see. I wanna give you a little tour of my dahlias. Um, so basically it's gonna be mostly flowers. Sunflowers, dahlias, and a little filler. I'm gonna keep it simple. I also am going to be taking a whole bunch of pumpkins today that I had some left over from that big market that I did last weekend, but I had more ready to harvest. I probably harvested 20 more pumpkins yesterday. So I'm gonna take all of those to the market today too, see what I can get rid of. And then tomorrow we're leaving on vacation. I'm so excited. Um, we're leaving for about five days, so that'll be great. Anyway, let's start putting together some of these mini bouquets. I picked 10 stems of Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus and 10 stems of, the, of this Celosia. So I'm gonna put one of these in each bouquet and then basically, oh, little corn rootworm beetle, have to kill him. Um, so basically I'm gonna have one, two, and then three more stems, maybe four. That's gonna be my bouquet. So these are gonna go together really fast. Now I display these in wider vases and mason jars. I always put a little bit of flower food in there. And then I wrap them with a little piece of paper. Um, these are, I don't know, maybe eight by eight, eight by 10 in size. And it seems to be the perfect size to wrap these in. Oh, my phone's ringing, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I was just going to start one of these bouquets. So I have my filler and a celosia and I need three more flowers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little um, Dahlia, the one that broke off. And then let's put a mini sunflower in here. And then I need a zinnia or two. I picked plenty of zinnias and so I might as well just use them. Let's use this purple one. And then I need a tiny one. We use this little queen lime red. All right, that's it. 
Then I have variety packs of rubber bands, and so there's little tiny ones in there. And these work just perfect to wrap around a few times for these mini bouquets. And then, move this back a little bit. I don't usually put stickers on these mini bouquets um, just because they're a little smaller. I probably could, but I usually don't. And then that wraps up really nicely. Isn't that cute? These sell super well. Um, I usually sell out of these every week. Now, September has been a little bit slower just because school has started and sports are going. Um, so I'm just gonna take 10 of these today. However, we are having a harvest party at the market. Uh, it's Since it's our last market of the year, I planned um, kind of, we're going out with a bang. I planned a nice event. So I'm hoping that we get a decent amount of people at the market tonight. Um, so who knows? I mean, maybe I won't take enough. You know, it is what it is. I actually, I just really wanna get rid of my pumpkins um, so that I don't have those hanging around. Otherwise, I'll just have to use them for decorating. Okay, so this one I did the little Celosia, the filler, a mini sunflower, and then three zinnias. I have ladies that will come get these every week just for their house. I have um, kids get these for their moms as gifts. I will have people get them as gifts. I have one lady that likes to put one in her bathroom just so that she sees it when she wakes up in the morning. They're just really, really cute. And I really like the dark accent foliage this week. Okay, let's use, well, I'll get a celosia and then I need to get a sunflower. I'm hoping these open just a little bit more today while these are sitting here so that when we get to the market, um, people will see that they're open. Okay, now this ageratum, see these aren't fully developed yet and they're drooping. I just clip those off but it still has a nice pop of color. Oh, that's cute. So let's use a pink for this one. And maybe one of these queen lime reds. Yeah. So this, like I said, has been a really great way to use some of those shorter stems. And then it adds on income every single week as well, which is always nice. Of course, I always want to sell the larger bouquets, but you know, having these extras not only brings that extra income, but also adds something to my booth. Because usually I will take um, my, and maybe I'll throw a picture up on the screen, but usually I will take my larger bouquets in the buckets and I will have, you know, one on the table or on a stand down in front. And then I can put these little ones on the table. Now today I'm gonna have to adjust my layout a little bit because I have pumpkins. So I'm gonna be taking a bigger table and uh, I'm gonna have to kind of layer my bouquets a little more, but um, still having these mini bouquets on the table is really going to fill up my space and give it a nice even look. Okay, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of status in this one. I don't have a ton of status because I completely harvested it out and used it for my market last week or last weekend. That su little sunflower <laughs> almost doesn't show up. It needs to open a little bit more. They should open being in the warmth here today. So when I wrap these, I kind of cradle it in the paper and I put a staple right here and then I fold it over again and I put a staple right here. And then that makes that little cone that the flowers sit in. Okay, so I fit four in this vase. That's gonna be perfect for displaying. The other vase I use is actually the one that this uh, hibiscus is in. So I'm gonna have to take this out and start filling that. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the rest of these made and then I will show you every single one when I'm done. 
Okay, you guys, here they are. I wanna zoom in close so you can see each and every one. There are 10 of them and they are just so pretty. You can see I mainly used the zinnias in there as the focal flowers. There's the one dahlia that was too short, but these just turned out so good. Hopefully I'm focusing okay for you guys. I also love that little pop of ageratum this week since I have never had that yet this season. We'll zoom over to this one. So I'm hoping these sell really good this week and we will have a great end to the season. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick process that I do for the market each week. That took me maybe in total 20 minutes, so really quick. I mean, it took me a little cut time, but that's really easy to harvest. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get outside, harvest some dahlias, film that next video for you guys and stay tuned for a lot more the rest of this season. I'm hoping we have a month till frost, we'll see, but I got some hoop house projects, I have some hardy annuals to plant, and I will make sure to show you guys all of that. So stay tuned for a lot more, we'll see you soon.